Howdy, going to show a workflow for taking a measurement of your wrist for e-commerce. Like let's say you want to buy a new watch and you don't have a handy tape measure. So you probably have an iPhone in your pocket and you've got Scandi Pro available on your iPhone. So I'm going to launch Scandi Pro. It's already launched. That's what this cool viewer is. I'm going to set the resolution to one millimeter because I'm scanning something that's fairly small. And then I'm gonna grab the edge of a desk. So the way that I like to do this is put my thumb just over the edge like this. You can see my hand is grabbing the underside like so. Basically what we're doing here is making it so your hand won't wobble around as you take the scan. I've tried a bunch of scans where you kind of hold your arm like this, but you always end up moving your arm a little bit as you try and move the phone. So you don't get very accurate scans by grabbing the table and anchoring your elbow on the arm of a chair, your arm is quite steady. So here we go, going to start the scan. This is pretty quick and easy. So I'm going to start the scan and I like to go down first, just to make sure that I get the underside and then come back around and scan up and over and around. And this is an easy scan to do with the true depth because I can see the phone the entire time and everything should be quite stable for it as it's scanning. So just finish the scan. It's going to generate the mesh. Looks great. And even if it's not perfect, even if there's a little bit of a gap um, it'll work. This one there wasn't, so bully for me. Uh, I'm now going to load it into the mesh editor and going to crop out all of this extra stuff, which is the rest of me. So crop one. Crop two. Crop three. Auto clean might be able to take it. Nope. Too much. All right. Boom. Awesome. That is the important part of this scan. So I'm going to overwrite it. Load it back in. Use the crop plane hack to orient this straight up and down. And then uh, for fun, I'm going to see if I can fill the holes. And oh, look at that. It did. It worked. Nice. So I'm also just going to decimate it because uh, why not? You know, make it a really small file. Super fun. All right, cool. So this is exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go to the export screen and export it as an STL. I'm going to Save it to files, CAD2, sure. So now I'm gonna open Chrome and show you the measuring workflow that we're creating. So we've just made this new website that will be launching on a Scandi branded site very soon, but it is currently under development and I can take the file that I scanned. Conveniently, I'm already in the CAD2 folder, so select the file. My model scale is meters. I can click upload. And now you can see my wrist is on this grid and I can zoom in and look at it. So the adjust measuring plane is going to let me slide this plane up and down to be where I want to take the perimeter measurement for. And I'm just going to try and line it up about where I tend to wear a, a watch. So that is 0 0.18 meters. I'm gonna change this to centimeters and it is 17.73 centimeters. So now just to verify that that is correct, 
with a tape measure. I will take my handy dandy tape measure that I've always got sitting on my desk for verification measurements just like this one. You can see that if I slide this around my wrist, it is accurate to the millimeter. It's basically just a human measurement error problem at this point. It's how closely can I get the measurement with the tape measure to match the measurement that I took in Scandi. So Scandi Pro with our new e-commerce measuring tool, it'll be launched uh, this week. Have fun and happy scanning.